Hey there guys, so just doing a run through of my primary, you know, strength exercises um, and going more so just over this week, but as a general rule it's, you know, pretty close to what I stick to and, you know, just use as staple exercises. So, you know, we're going to start, you know, Monday I always do bench press, um, heavy bench day and, you know, for me obviously being a power lifter, it's one of the lifts that I need to do in competition, so... Yeah, look, I put a lot of effort into it, um, and I really work on developing this lift. So, from like a full body standpoint, um, this is probably one of the best exercises for upper body anterior development. Um, you know, heavy bench obviously works, you know, the chest, delts, triceps. Um, and then if you're doing it correctly and retracting your scapula, you're going to use a fair bit of, um, mid and upper back, and that's just to stay stable on the bench press. In terms of um, sets and reps for this exercise, at the moment I'm just currently working with two sets of five as my top um, work, and then after that it's just back off sets and they could be anything from, you know, two sets of 10 or two sets of 20 depending on what the weight is. Um, sometimes I might opt for feet up bench press, also known as Larson press. Other times I might do some narrow grip um, bench work or, you know, some board press. It really comes down to, you know, whatever I need to do in that session in order to become better. Um, so, yeah, that's my Mondays as a whole when it just comes to bench press. There are a few other accessory movements, but um, the big main primary exercise is the bench press. Then on Tuesdays, it's stone squats. So, with this exercise, you know, I'm going higher rep. Um, goal is just to get 20 reps. And at the moment, this is more a conditioning um, sort of aspect to my training. Yes, it does work the um, quads quite well and the rest of the lower body, um, hamstrings, glutes, the rest of it. But um, predominantly, this hits my, you know, mid and lower back quite hard because it's got to work, you know, it's got to work really hard just to stay upright because the stone's trying to pull me forward. Um, so it's not so much about leg strength as it is about just developing core and, you know, mid and lower back strength because that's then going to carry across to my, you know, traditional squatting in a competition prep. Um, and then, you know, just squatting with the stone is going to use a lot more, you know, you've got to use your arms, a lot more grip. Biceps get heavily taxed as well, which is going to then carry across to bench press because I'm just more stable under load. Um, and this also hits a lot of your traps and upper back because you have to pull the stone in and hold it into place. So, yeah, it does work the legs, but, you know, it thoroughly works, you know, mid, lower, back, um, core, grip, you know, biceps. So, um, yeah, it's just a really good, you know, all-round exercise in that regard. I'd view it almost as like a, a true full-body um, movement. Then on... Thursdays I have my front squats. Now front squats are the main you know lower body lift that I do um, and I found that you know front squatting was nowhere near as taxing on the CNS as traditional squats and also you know when I squat you know traditional you know low bar for me it's never my legs that give out it's always going to be my core and lower back. Um, so with the front squat, you know, this forces me to stay really upright, which is going to make my traditional squat better. But also, you know, my core is the limiting factor um, in this regard. So if I can bring, you know, that base level of, you know, core strength up, it's then going to carry across to my traditional squat without, you know, burning out my CNS. And the um, recovery from front squats for me is much, much quicker than traditional squats. Then on Fridays, I normally muck around with the one-arm overhead press. This is, you know, my main exercise for delts and triceps. You'll notice that the range of um, motion is very similar to that of my bench press in terms of, you know, total distance that the weight needs to move. Now... That being said, you know, it's predominantly there to help drive my bench press numbers north, but it's also, you know, helping to work my core. I can get away with a lot of lateral flexion, which doesn't, you know, impact negatively on my back. If anything, it just helps strengthen it. Um, with a traditional, you know, barbell, there's a lot of, well, when I do it, there's a fair bit of, you know, spinal extension, and it's the 
aspect of spinal extension that a lot of people find quite damaging on their back. Um, so, you know, this movement completely replaces it and, you know, you end up in a state of lateral flexion instead and, you know, your body can deal with that really well um, and hits the obliques, you know, nicely considering I don't have anything really in my training most of the time to directly work them. So indirectly, you know, these go into overdrive, they work really well, and that just helps stabilize you on, you know, the front squats and your traditional squats, and then to a lesser degree, your deadlifts. But um, yeah, it's just, you know, one of those good all-round exercises, and helps develop the um, upper back. And then on Saturdays, I normally muck around with pull-ups, sometimes I do these on a Tuesday as well, but it just depends, you know, on the training week, but um, yeah, pull-ups have always sort of been a staple, I either do them this way or I like to do neutral grip pull-ups, I actually find the neutral grip um, ones hit my lats slightly better, but this forces, you know, me to work in a way that's going to be more conducive to overall shoulder mobility. Um, and it's a little bit more challenging, but, you know, it is what it is. It still works my back really thoroughly. Um, sometimes I'll go for 15 reps and then, you know, wait a few minutes and knock out a set of 10. Other times I'll, you know, just go for a set of 20 reps. It really depends on the um, day and, you know, the level of DOMS that I've had from, you know, previous training sessions. Like if I've gone really hard, you know, one of the prior days with biceps, then, you know, trying to do pull-ups makes it a lot harder because, you know, your arms are already pre fatigued um and if it's too close to a heavy heavy bench press day i find that you know my shoulders feel quite fatigued and it just you know it takes away from the movement but at the end of the day still doing them is going to have more carryover and net you know positive on my total you know program and physique than um excluding them um and then lastly same deal is shrugs normally on a tuesday with the um pull-ups this time they were done on a sunday so um yeah i just try and mainly work monday through to saturday in terms of training I try and have you know a rest day on the sunday but sometimes that doesn't happen so this one you know just doing shrugs and the reason i'm doing shrugs is again you know a really good movement for the um, upper back. Traps also play a big role in terms of posture and the rest of it. But when you're bench pressing and retracting your scapula and holding yourself into um, place, it's going to be, you know, a muscle group, you know, your traps and upper back. They play, you know, a significant role in doing that and staying stable. And if you can stay stable on bench and hold, you know, yourself in a good position with a slight arch, it's going to save against you damaging your shoulders long term. So, um, yeah, relatively easy movement. I like to go much, much higher reps. Um, I'm not here to fatigue my CNS at all. And, you know, it's more strength endurance in a way um, for this, you know, exercise. So it just carries over across to my bench press. Um, but yeah, that's my, you know, training as a whole. Um, that's what it is at the moment anyway. And they're my primary exercises. So I hope this video helped. If you guys have any comments feel free to comment below otherwise hit like hit like and subscribe and have a great day wherever you are